Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Up here on Lake Erie again, where I left you last time was right here at the boat ramp with Mr. Jeremy Starks and my boy Matt, manager Matt from the Guggen Squad. Jeremy, for everybody that doesn't know, he is one of the founders of the Bass Mafia. We work with those guys. Uh, we have tackle trays and other products we're working on them with. Some of them are brand new that we have here today. What happened yesterday, we went out, had a, uh, it, was a it was a little tough, but I caught my PB. We were filming for the Guggen Squad channel. You guys need to go check that out. It's linked down below. It was the longest fight I've ever had with a bass species. Matt was sitting there like, can I put the camera down now? It was just, we're going back out. It's it's windy today. I have one rod with me, and this is the key to today. You cannot use big line. You cannot use big rods. You cannot even use big baits up here. It's so disappointing for us Texas anglers, but I'm using my crappie rod. This is literally what I use for crappie. Got 10 pound braid, six pound fluorocarbon. I, I don't even know what that's about, y'all. I'm using a rattling Ned, and uh, I've got one of the heavy metal mushroom tungsten uh, heads on there. Yesterday, all of our bites were coming out deep and my PB came out from, it was in deep water. They just haven't shoved out all to the deeps yet, like really post-spawn gathering. The numbers haven't been good, but we're, we're trying to dial these fish in. Jeremy, he's a former Elite Series, Bassmaster Elite Series uh, Terror Dangler and uh, he's won a few of those things as well. He has a ton of knowledge, been learning a lot from him, so I wanna share some of his knowledge with you guys today and just go have some fun and catch some brown beauties. Let's do it. So yesterday we went out, we were trying to catch fish deep. We're like, the big groups aren't out here. What's now we know why on? they weren't. I mean, we, when we launched, you can see, I mean, there's all kind of old, older beds, but they're not that old. I mean, they look like they've been abandoned. No more than a week ago. Maybe, yeah, a week ago. That's just so, in this one corner. We're going to try mid depth. Or we're going to try really shallow in 10 to 12 and see what happens. So the mysteries, the mysteries are being revealed right now. Jeremy, he was like, you got to come up here and experience the August bite because they're going to be moving totally offshore, but they had a, a ton of rain this year. And so the spawn was a little late. So we're thinking that these fish are actually going to be like fresh off the beds, like still roaming in the shallows. So different day, different game plan. Looks like a bass assassin, man. I am here to slay bass today. Y'all noticed something different about that? Oh yeah, it's come down. Since yesterday, but think about why. Probably. Is that literally because of wind? Wind shoved the water that way. That's insane. You guys see that water line there? That's where the water was that yesterday. Is. First move we're making is just kind of cruise the shoreline and see if there, if there are any visible bass still on beds. We haven't seen any cruisers, but we've seen extremely fresh beds, like in a matter of days. That is so crazy, coming from where I just came from. Now I'm needing to find like the first place they're gonna go after they get off the beds. That's where we need to go. So it's usually like an intermediary type area before the super deep stuff. Let's go find that location. spot we're at. It's a little jetty area. Got some current rolling through here. Looking for that hard bottom. Starks is hooked up. First fish of the day. He calls little fish like two pounders. There he is. Old drop shot strikes again. Yeah, I just did there when I cast. I gotta throw like into the current, let it drift back. But... The way the current's moving around that really there ought to be set up on there. So, what about like those rocks and stuff over there? Is that just too shallow? Typically they just, because all the bait is out here, they just get away from all that stuff as quick as they can. Ah, you broke me. I need a Texas Rattler. That's what I need. Okay, time to re-rig. Let's play a game. See if I can re-rig before Starks gets one on. One six ounce heavy metal tungsten shroom head. I really need a quarter ounce, but 
what we got here. This current's so strong. Is there any crabs in here? No crabs. Possible goby on the line. Oh my gosh. Caught a goby. <laughs> How did you do that? You were like, I'm just gonna catch a goby. You wanna see one? This is what all these smallies are eating. Huh. Look at that little guy. And what's cool about them, you gotta feel it to. It has no spines, no nothing. That's why fish like. Oh, it. it's, oh. Just, it's just like a pure hot protein. Dog. Yeah, like no a, effort. It's like a cookie. It's a little cookie. Well, there you go. That's a goby. It looks like a dumb fish. It really does. Like a dumb fish. Just look at his face. Looks like he would say some dumb things. <laughs> like, hey, I'm Goby. <laughs> that would be his voice. <laughs> see ya. We tried out deep for a second just to see if if they were out there. They ain't out there. Now we're trying to find that, that mid-depth point. This lake is so massive, so huge. I, know, I feel like we were coming at the shore for like 30 minutes. Yeah, it did. It's like, yeah, we'll be there, yeah. Two seconds. Like, so they go see oh, you just pulled that little cove over there. We'll be fine. Oh, yeah, look at the rock. Might as well just I mean, shut look down. at it with your shut it down. Oh yeah, you don't even have to look at the graph because you can just look at the bottom. It looks like it's three <laughs> feet deep. Oh my gosh. We should see the small mine. There's is a that a fish? Right yeah, I was about to say, there was, one, there was a fish on it. This is Ned Heaven. Oh, the Texas Rattler's coming out. <laughs> so this is more my style, like I can get down with this. You feel, you feel a little better? I feel a little bit more confident. Yeah, dragging out in like that 30 foot zone. It just feels like a, a wet sock out there. You ready to get it done? Confidence level high. Water's not not that dirty. No, it's not as clear as it could be. Looks like we've got some sort of doo-doo hair here. There's one. Oh yeah, yeah. right there. He's just roaming. That's a dark one too. Whipping around. He's whipping around. He's coming. He's coming. It's gonna happen. This fish is on a bed in August. Lost sight, but it's a good fish. It's a four. There's another one right here. Okay, we're about to just Isn't that another fish? No, there's a, there's another one right here. Only problem is you drop your lure down there and you think it's three feet deep and then it shoots off 14 feet to the side. Oh, got fish on beds in August. Here's another one right here. What the is going on? There's one right there swimming. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're they're covered. <laughs> this is just mad. Yeah, he, he, this one's cruising though. He's not sticking. Yeah, but they, they'll bite. This one's, this one's... This one's, uh, look, there's two. There's two right here. Good one. Oh, sh those are good ones. Oh, wow. Okay. One's a really good one. Oh, he's coming at you. Matt. Oh, that's not me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see his line. <laughs> there's some tank mabobs in here. My bait's right here. Is he on it? He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> dang it. Just give it a dang. Oh yeah, oh, my. Jeremy's Jeremy's hooked up on that fish. These are bedding fish in August, are they not? Cut that fish off the bed in August. Is that crazy? That's a hundred percent. Like not maybe. There was two of them on that bed. So we just got to back off of them a little bit. That is just insane. <laughs> so we've been out there for two days looking for <laughs> deep fish. We come in here and they're everywhere spawning. This is the latest I've ever seen them spawn. I told you before I'd seen them in July, but never in August. Big one, but beautiful, healthy smallmouth. Got to. Baby. It's okay. crazy. Now we know. Well, now we know. Now we know. You can literally see the fresh bed on these boulders. They've fanned it out. We have got fish all around us right here. They're in kind of a specific depth zone, like a little seam. I've had to put on. My least favorite technique, the drop shot. It just seems to be, it's what these fish want. We're seeing them cruising around. Like if they see you, you're 
pretty much not going to bite. But if you can see them and they can't see you, you can cast out to them, leave it there, give it a dangle. You're starting to bite. We're in six feet of water, about three to six. I like this a lot. Oh gosh, I just got hammered. Oh! Greenhorn him, dude. I did. I did. I saw that. He bumped it and then I was like, is he there? He was just sitting there with he was it. Solid with it too, wasn't yeah. He? Yeah. They're not like mega slurping it. Got to be on your game with the hook sets. I got one on my bait and he's and he's hung up? Uh well he's like looking at it while it's hung. Oh my god. There's, there's two. There's two on this rock. For real? Yeah, look at him. He's right here. Yeah. Here I got it. I got it. Oh, I think he got it. Oh. You have it? I think he had it while I was letting line out. Oh dude, he might have a big one. It's pulling. Don't lose him, Matt. Come on, Matt. <laughs> Don't lose him. Dude, he's got a giant. Oh, yeah. You got a good one, Matt. Just take it easy, boys. Are we going to set a new team? Dude, is that a drum or a smallmouth? I haven't seen it. That's a, that's a big a smallmouth. That's your PB. Dude, it almost looks like a drum. It's so big. That's a giant. It is a drum? <laughs> it is a drum. Oh, my God. I was about to say, that's a seven-pound smallmouth. That's his personal best drum. A freaking giant smallmouth right there. Are these yeah. drum? Is that a drum, no. too? No, that's a smallmouth. I got to catch that one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a smallmouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good smallie. I'm hooked of course, up. Of course. He's coming all the way around though. I, I can't, I sight cast it to him. Oh, dude, it is a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah son. Why would anybody want to do this? Dude, sight fishing. Matt, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got a seven pound drum. Thought it was a small mouth. <laughs> oh, here we go, y'all. This is so cool. We're looking at fish all around us. I just got this one on the drop shot. I don't like throwing drop shots, but this is just key. Look at these guys. They just keep digging, keep fighting. Did you enjoy that fight, Matt? No. No? There was about 30 seconds you did. This is insane that there's this many bass that are up here just spawning. This this guy is taking me a 360 around the boat. Keep going back for another lap. I'm going up for another lap, dude. And hey, you you actually sight fished him, right? I did. I saw him. Oh, look at the one with it. Look at the one right there. There's two of them there. God, tankers. Look at this action right here, y'all. There we go. Come here, baby. I'm literally landing this fish. I'm going to stick the camera underwater so you guys can see this. But. Uh, Woo. There's that guy right there. Nice, healthy smallmouth. Coming on the drag and drop, little ox butt blood color and then look at this so here's this fish and then look at these other fish okay re-rigging everyone out there you probably never see me rigging drop shots so Gonna rig one up. Drag and drop. Ox blood is the color. Just weird clear water color. I've got this rigged on a. It's a one knot stickies wide gap finesse hook. Stick it right in the nose like that. That helps it stand up a little better. And a quarter ounce little tungsten weight. Got him. Jarrah's hooked up. Look at that one. Oh. This beast. Oh. These Mississippi fish. minnow. Oh. No, they made them that small up there. All right. I have no doubt there's a five plus in here somewhere. Hooked up. Jared's hooked up. Sneaky suspicion it's going to be a mondo. <laughs> 
Always coming up. If it's not the ugly small mouth, it's a grown one. Okay. But I feel like I, Yeah, I see those those little slow turns. But he's coming up. No, it's a small mouth. It is. Yeah. It's gonna be a good. It is a good one. It's a small mouth. No, it's a drum. <laughs> is it? It's a drum. <laughs> <laughs> it. Matt, you jinxed me. The bronze back drum. It's the bronze back. It looks anorexic. They just don't fight as hard, do they? They're not quite as fun, yeah. The name Drum just sounds terrible. Gaspergoo and Drum. Two Gasper. names that just don't ring true. Spotted another one on a bed. It'd be kind of sparse, but I was like, I don't know, I kind of think that's one, and then So beautiful and brown, bronze. I mean, that's straight up on the bed in August. I mean, just completely locked. Though. Completely locked. That's a decent fish. That's a decent one. Dude, there. I thought we just had him. <laughs> no. They're bulldogs. Nice one. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Look at this, y'all. Look at the tininess of the mouth. I mean, that looks like... If this were a large mouth, that mouth right there, this would be like a 0.75 pound bass. They're they're heavier than they look. They're very dense. <sighs> you know it. Just hang out there. Just hang out. That really was crazy. I mean, you saw that fish just locked right on. Yeah. Feet from the boat. I was like, that's a dark spot. And I threw in there, and as soon as it went in, it and just sat there with it, never even moved. So uh, I've caught a couple of nice fish so far. We just rolled up to another spot that looks similar, like uh, in contour as the last one, and uh, within five seconds, we're already seeing fish up shallow. This is why yesterday, you know, we were looking for them deep, like why? Why are they not out here? Why? It's because they're still spawning. So we're just taking our drop shots, and we're we're casting. We kind of have to see them back off, and then blind cast to them. That's how most of them have been. A couple of them have been really dumb, like the last one I caught, that you just throw it up there and right away. But they're still a little finicky. They're at the end of their spawn, so they've seen a lot of stuff. Got him. Oh, baby, yeah! God, it's good to see one, Jim. Around, huh? Whee! There's another one with it. Rock. Got him? Got him. Yep. Yeah. Right on that boulder. Nice, oh, Matt. Oh, that's your PB. Yes. Here, let me grab that camera. Oh, gosh. I just had white too. Oh, oh my no. gosh. No, he broke no. it. Five and a half. God. Five and a half. God. Dang, son. Oh, you got thrashed. That was five and a half. You got thrashed. See, that was. 100% would have been your biggest smallmouth by a lot. Dude, that was a big one. Hey, yeah. I just want you, I want you to know something. Let's just take a look at where this broke at. Thanks, Starks. Sabotage. Oh, wait a sec. It was it at the knot? It was at the knot. I didn't tie that. Yeah, yeah you did. Well, you used it for two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there's one right here. Okay, we're in them now. We're in them now, boys. Oh, dude, that was a stud. Like, I didn't realize it was that big. Yeah, the first time it jumps, I was like, oh, that's a four. Second time it jumped, I was like, oh. Oh, it was definitely over five. It's got shoulders. Looking at more fish. Are you seeing some? Yep. Good one? We must be on that spot. No, we're not yet. We're still a good hundred yards from it. There's like a two pounder just floating around underneath us. Oh, oh God. Got gobied. There's gotta be some in this little, little cut. Record you with this or? No, I got it. Hey, bud. How you doing? Is that a white bass? The white bass. The white bass. It is not. The it white is to a white bass, dude. <laughs> it is a white bass. Woo! I'm unstoppable. I'm the white bass king. Oh my gosh. Oh baby. And would you believe it? He's choked it. So good. Is there any pliers in here? I just don't remember where I put them. Just cut it. Retie. 
Okay, y'all. Uh, um, I don't know what it is. I can go anywhere in the world and catch these things. That is one of the bigger ones I've caught. That's not a hybrid. It's a straight white bass. I'm the king. I'm the king of the white bass. There's just no question. I, you come up here to catch brown fish on a gigundous body of water, and then you start drop shotting, and then you catch a white bass. It's like they just follow me around, y'all. I gotta find more of these smallies. White bass. I'm not mad at those white bass. I can catch some more. I will jerk bait on here and just see what's going on in here. Under the graph. Oh, got him. You gotta be. Oh, I'm not. He does, a big one. <laughs> Look at these white bass. These are the biggest ones I've ever seen. Yes, sir. Here we go. Monster. Might get my PB white bass here. Yeah, to the other side. Yeah, to the other side. Yeah. Do it. Oh, got him. Hang on. Oh my god. That's another big one, ain't it? Oh yeah, they're all big. You're just slaying some white bass still. Yeah. Another stud. Get a little off track for my smallmouth here, but I gotta tell you, white bass that size. That's good times. Oh my god. I've never gosh. seen current like that in my life. That would kill you so quick. Look at it wrap like wrap around. Oh my gosh. That's wild. That's some flow. All of it heading right over them big old falls. So if our motor died right now, we would we not, would die. We would eventually. Yeah, eventually we'd we would die. Over the falls. We'd go over Niagara Falls. We are on top of the fall so if we uh you know kept drifting theoretically we would uh, we would go we'd be airborne <laughs> airborne jeremy's playing games with us just keep it in the motor look at the motor we can't even go forward still can't go forward RPM. all right i've had enough i've had enough i've had no i've had i've had enough this is this is i've done this is that, was this lake. that was cringy. <laughs> oh. He was over it in a hurry. Yeah. Dude. Well, let's get out of here. The engine just died? Is your motor yeah. okay? The just engine just gas. died? We're out of gas. No, we're not. I swear to God. On, on that tank. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if that was while we were on the river? What? In the... What if that would have happened? Seriously, what? Jeremy. Jeremy. Five what minutes the... ago, we would have died. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> It would have been fine. The no. motor just ran out of gas after we, we ran out got, of there. Oh my we would, gosh. We would have been fine. We would have not been fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> wow. See, all we'd have to do is go change tanks. Four seconds, we would have been dead. No, that's all it takes. Okay, there's no reason to go back there whatsoever. We just came from the death waters, it felt like. It's literally all the water that falls out of Niagara Falls concentrated in one narrow section, and we were playing a little close to the fire, I felt like. Sissies. <laughs> no, that, no. That was real. I don't think anyone is gonna understand it. Like, we're, we're, we're what, like a mile from where we just were? Yeah. Like, and the motor just ran out of gas. But it switched tanks. It switched tanks. How come it doesn't do that automatically? Because you're supposed to look at the gauge and switch tanks. You're supposed to look at the gauge. Before you hit the I did. I, kind of was, I was wanting to test it as much to see how far you can really go. Uh, One needs to know how far it can really go past empty before it's truly out of gas. Okay, anyways. Oh Holt caught with some little donkers back there. <laughs> so absolutely no reason to go back there. We're going to try. Are you saying you'll never go back? I'll never, never go back there. Never. The Niagara I don't River see will water. never see you again. No, I don't want to see water not. like that. I will no. look at it from that bridge, on top of the bridge, but that's about it. We had a 350 horsepower motor that wouldn't go anywhere. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We have a 350 horsepower pushing 3,500 RPMs, and we were just sitting there in the current. Just another day on Erie. Literally the same spot that I hooked into the donkey yesterday and Matt is in for a ride right now. We caught a six and a five here. Did you say so, PB? I don't, I don't want to get too excited. I already lost one like five pounder today. Dude, it's just going. You're gonna be fighting in this current for a while. Yesterday, yesterday I was able here. to get my PB. Matt caught his PB yesterday also, but it wasn't really what you would think of. It wasn't a five plus. Jeremy's gonna get on the trolling motor because this is, this is something special. Bring him up here to the front. We're gonna turn and chase him down. 
we were literally about to go in because we had all these fish on beds in the wind and then it just like shut down. We couldn't find any more spots like that. Usually all the fish are off beds this time of year. So we ran up the river, tried that, we tried some other areas and this was like our last spot. This is the air, literally the area where I had mine yesterday. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't even seen him yet. It's a mag. Yeah, it's a mag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this could be a six and a half. Oh. It's a brown oh, fish. Oh God, it's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good, good one. one. It's a good smallie. Now how did that little sucker get <laughs> in that current and do that? I don't know. He's not quite a five. He was pulling like a freaking tank. I say we take it. We'll take I, what we can get. I, okay, Matt, I think that's gonna be the day ender. Drag and drop comes through. Drag and drop came through. He has ended the day twice now. <laughs> that's twice. We had we had to get you a, a fish yesterday to end the day, and today you're ending it again. I really thought he had a jet. I did too. I, I thought, thought it was it, a five pounder. He's wicked in here. Yeah, I think he, the current was, I mean, I'm he's happy. Still, to, like, he's still three and a half. I'm three hit. and a quarter. I'm happy to see that fish. Two days to get this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. 275. 263. <laughs> Damn it, shouldn't have weighed it. Yeah, why'd we weigh this, Jeremy? It is time to end the day now on that one. It has just been a grinder, an absolute grinder out here to catch these fish. I'm so glad I got to come up here and catch my PB. I felt pretty certain that me and Matt were going to catch our PBs, and that did happen. I want to thank Jeremy for taking us out and showing us how to fish up here. If it was just me and Matt, I promise you we would have never caught a fish. It is a confusing fishery, especially for a, a you know a couple of dudes that are used to throwing at trees and stuff like that. It's a different ball game. But I will see you guys back in Texas on the next dangle so stay tuned hit the like button subscribe and I will see you on